What's going on everybody? It's Lily618 and it's that time of month again. It's time for another Loot Crate. Now for those of you who don't know what Loot Crate is, Loot Crate is a grab bag of nerdy goodies. Basically they take some items, some collectibles, a t-shirt, and they send it around a theme. And I think this month's theme is Dystopia. So I'm expecting some really interesting items, maybe something revolving, you know, some tragedy. I don't know. I know they labeled a lot of the potential series, gaming, and TV shows that they were looking at using. I don't know if they're all in there, but that's what these videos are for so let's go ahead and take a look there we go Ooh, oh 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 all right lots of big items today but let's start off with the shirt every loot crate comes with a shirt and oh okay we got a little robocop action going on here yeah as you can see as i move the camera we got a little robocop action going on Nice, nice design. This is actually pretty cool. I might actually wear this after the video. Actually, I already know I'm going to. I do it every time. Loot Crate shirts are freaking amazing. Except for that one that I got like in February or March. And don't hardly ever wear that. But yeah, shirt's cool. Shirt looks nice. Let's see what else we got. Okay, I guess next we gotta go with the final figure. And we got, looks like the Fallout suit. The power armor. This looks nice. See, we could have got, we could have got Pit Boy. We could have got the two characters from Fallout that we could choose from playing. I don't know what that is. I forget the name of it. But we got the power armor. Let's go ahead and take it out and see what this looks like outside the box. Okay, now you gotta admit this looks pretty freaking sweet. Um, it's a nice shiny glow to it. It's actually. Normally these figures that we get in the loot crates are usually like more detailed than this as far as like the feel and not actually having like the painted on stuff like this here. But this is still really, really cool. This would make a great desk piece for sure. All right, next I guess we gotta go with the other box in here. And it looks like, ooh, the Matrix and it looks like a 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. What? Yep, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Um, I'll have to figure out a space to put this together but it looks like when you put it together, it makes the Matrix poster, um, which is, uh, you know, pretty cool. The Matrix theatrical uh, poster. And so definitely keep the box for reference, guys. Definitely keep it for reference and knock down, knock, knock down the lamp. All right, next we have from the Bioshock universe, a, a key blank. Um, I'm guessing this is like, Go to the store, make a blank, uh, take this, it's a blank for a key. You can make your own key and have it be a uh, Bioshock Infinite um, related key. So that's nice, I don't, I don't think I'll ever use this. I mean, I'm currently living in an apartment right now. I might save this, you know, maybe five years down the road or something. Maybe if I own a house by then, you know, go, to, go in and have them use this blank to make my house key. But as for now, I can't, can't quite do that because apartments don't like when you make copies of their keys. So we'll keep that in there. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. We'll come back to the button in a second, but Terminator 2, a metal wall hanging. You know that this has gotta go somewhere, but it's made out of metal. Seems pretty legit. Now let's get the plastic covering off of it. FYI guys, that plastic, took a lot to get into. But now we got the plastic off, all you see is the nice, nice shine of the metal. That is really cool. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to hang this on the wall and not get in trouble with the landlord. So we'll definitely be looking to put this somewhere for sure. Along with the shirt, you always get a pin, a Loot Crate pin. So this one looks like a nuke. I'm not sure if this is Fallout or if this is just in general. Uh, for this dystopia theme, but anytime you deal with dystopia, it's usually from a nuclear fallout. So, I don't know. I guess the nuke is actually a good representation of this box. So, I don't know. Well, uh, that's always interesting. What type of pins to get? This is definitely a bit more plain, I would say, than the last few have, but still, not too bad. And then last but certainly not least, you have your booklet. Your booklet has little like articles where you can read things. 
talks about Robocop and all the items that are in there. And it also talks about its other crates it's got. It's got the Loot Crate DX. It's got a Halo Legendary Crate. And then, you know, it has little articles talking about what type of dystopias and usually everything surrounding the theme. And then it talks about the Mega Crate and we didn't win it. I never win the Mega Crates, not even the Mini Megas. So it's whatever. You could just look and just be jealous of whoever won it. But that was this month's Loot Crate. So what do I think? This month's Loot Crate, in my opinion, has been one of the better ones I have received so far this year. Um, the, the dystopia theme itself just lends itself to all sorts of great movie franchises, TV shows, video games, you name it. A lot of really, really well-received media is revolved around dystopia, disaster, and this Loot Crate shows that you can get some good merchandise. Obviously, the Tomb Raider <laughs> wall hanging. Obviously, really cool metal. I mean, it, it's just, that, it just looks cool. The little pop vinyl figure of the Fallout Power Armor. Nice little trinket. That's going to look great in the background along with the other three I got there. I got more somewhere. I just don't know where I put them. The Matrix Puzzle is probably the second least favorite thing in this month's box, but it gives me something to do. And the fact that it's going to be the, the, the uh, theatrical poster from whenever the movie originally came out is kind of cool. Um, probably the most blank thing is the key blank. Um, it's got a nice design. It's just for me personally, I know probably for several other people who are watching this, there's really no purpose to this right now. I mean, I could use it as like part of my keychain as a style thing, but besides that, um, there's really not much to go on with that. And of course, the t-shirt, always, always, always a great thing about Loot Crate. And the design on this one is really nice. Big, big Robocop figure in the middle there, surrounded by the destroy, the, the, by Detroit and destruction. And overall, just a really great crate for this month. But guys, I want to know what you think. If you're a Loot Crate subscriber, what did you think about this month's crate? Personally, for me, I think this crate is actually one of the better crates to come out um, over the past several months. The last couple crates were kind of lackluster, but this has actually been a pretty good crate this time around. I'm actually, you know pleased with this one. I'm actually really, really pleased with this one, but tell me your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're there, like, comment, and subscribe for more. But my name's Lily618. I'm out. Peace!